damn, everybody puts so much boo BS on gay guys. It is always, and I'm seeing the, yeah, this is the state police pulling up. I don't understand why the police keep bothering me, you guys. I'm at a public park. I'm at like a public, and the thing keeps glitching. Like I'm at literally a public area. I don't understand why the police are coming here. So we're just going to stay on camera for as long as I can to see what the hell happens. Because I'm like really nervous. I think I'm going to go on live. Okay. Hey guys, we're back. Um, the cops left and uh, I'm still here. I'm going to briefly talk about this and then I'm we're going to get back into the story. I apologize about that. And I intentionally left the clip of when the police arrived on purpose just to keep it on record. You know, I'm I'm not going to come up here a couple of months later and be like, "I just keep getting harassed by the police and y'all don't see what I'm talking about." Like, no, y'all are going to see it. <laughs> I'm going to keep I'm going to keep I'm going to keep posting it because this is really crazy. This is really crazy. At the time when the cop came, I was actually getting turned up talking about how it's funny how the the perception is like gay people, you know, initiated or gay people flirt with straight guys or gay people want to turn out straight guys. And while it may be like a fetish for sure, it's not acted upon most of the times you do have your you know bold individuals that you know do the most of course you always will have that but majority of the times because gay people are nervous about homophobia or being attacked or making somebody uncomfortable most of the time gay people stay in their lane so then it's the straight guys that actually approach them and sometimes it can actually come as like harassment just like you know women get harassed you have gay people like that they get harassed because then it's like the straight guy they'll come even harder on to you know the woman or to on to the gay guy but this wasn't with homie in jail because that's what we were talking about we were talking about homie in jail and with him it wasn't anything like that. It definitely was uh, welcomed because as far as I knew, he wasn't involved with anybody. I do remember that he had someone on the outside that he was in contact with, but from my understanding, and not just because of him, just from like, you know, conversation, like, like from talk, uh, and I think from him too, it wasn't, and I hope to God that it was real because I would actually feel, you know, terrible if it wasn't like if he was lying because you do have that. Oh my gosh, you definitely have that. But uh, from my understanding, he just had somebody that looked out for him, you know, just out of respect to the connection that they had, but he was just in jail doing his thing and he was uh, straight. He was straight, period. There was no rumors about nothing nothing he sent me a kite i mean we i did kind of notice a little flirtation i think it was in church it was either in church or in aa one time uh we were sitting next to each other and or we were sitting across from each other or something and he I, he was just a little bit flirty and there was like another time like eating our meals because they don't have chow halls in jail they just have tables in the pod and like you know we were sitting at the same table or something like that and you know just the way he was talking i did pick up like a vibe that he was kind of flirty but i thought it was just friendly you have some people that it's like you know friendly i could be flirty with girls like for real like there's plenty of times that i like you know for example i work at the grocery store so if i'm iding i mean if i'm ringing somebody up for like alcohol i know that women you know it's a compliment when you like ask them for their id and stuff and just little things i'll say it's it's a little flirty some people it's just it's just nice to flirt a, lo a little bit it makes people feel good you know um so i don't always read deep into a straight guy being friendly you know i don't but then he sent me a kite <laughs> and the kite was very direct it was very direct like you know you was fine as hell and i'm trying to hook up with you you know what i'm saying like do you, are you talking to anybody because i would love to talk to you and stuff like that and i wrote him back because i thought he was good looking i thought he was free and as far as i know and as far as i believe i do hope that that was the truth that he was you know single but um so i i wrote him back and we were 
in the same pod, but then I got moved around. And then again, somehow we got, we ended up in the same pod again, because I kind of had like trouble moving around. Pretty much the whole time I was locked up, I was constantly moving around just because one reason or another. But we ended up in the same pod again. And we had already, you know, been writing each other. So we already knew what time it was. And just trying to find a, a, a moment, I guess, where I would be able to go in his cell or he could come up in my cell or something like that. But we definitely were trying to be like sneaky. And he was on the top tier. So he had thought that it would be easier for me to go into his cell, like during pod leisure at a moment where people aren't really paying attention. I could just sort of pretend like I'm bringing him something like some co commissary. And actually, I do remember, I think I had brought like a coffee bag with me, like I was giving him a coffee bag. And I went upstairs carrying my coffee. And I I went to the door and in jail you weren't actually allowed to go into people's cells but people would creep up there creep into each other's cells sometimes and I was standing by the doorway talking to him and then I kind of just like slid in there somebody that's what people were saying people were like oh somebody must have been hating on y'all or something because they feel like somebody must have went and told the CEO cuz I I do know that when I went in I intentionally went at a time that the COs, they weren't looking. Like, there, this pod was, like, a bigger pod, and there would be two COs that stayed in the pod at, like, a little station near the, the near the door, just sort of surveying the, the, the pod. And it was at a moment where the COs weren't, weren't paying attention, talking with other inmates or whatever. One CO was over, you know, someplace I was talking to inmates or something, and I went in. That's why they say that somebody must have, like, snitched on us, like, told, told. But we barely got anything started, for real. Uh, <laughs> which I just realized I'm on YouTube and not on Patreon, so I won't go into the details. But we barely had, like, got anything going, for real. Uh, not anything, really, at all going. But the CO came... <laughs> <laughs> and basically just like knocked and then went in and you know we start pulling up our pants <laughs> and he was just like really y'all really <laughs> but needless to say I was moved out of the pod of course like immediately they had I don't think I, they didn't lock me up they they just had me pack my bags and I was near the front while they were figuring out where they were gonna move me I might have went back to phase one. Phase one at this jail was like a, a classification pod. If you just got locked up and you were being taken out from the front, like in booking, they would put you in this pod, which was called phase one, while they're classifying you. And also you're learning like the, the rules of the jail because they had uh, like inspection, cell inspection and stuff. So they had a training manual, um, a handbook or whatever that you needed to know. You needed to know how to like fold your bed. It was, it was kind of military style a little bit, but, uh, if also, so if you're just coming to the jail, they would put you in phase one while they classify you. Or if something like this happened where you needed to be moved, they would move, they would put you in phase one while they reclassify you. And I think I was moved to phase one for like the night or something, maybe the weekend. And then I was moved to another pod. So that's what happened. Well, you got two for one in this video, child. You got a cop interrupt, a cop harassment and a video about how I was caught <laughs> by the COs, you know, doing the most. Oh my gosh. I pray to God that these police leave me alone. I want to get away from this area. If I lived someplace else for real, I know that it wouldn't be this bad. And my attitude about this would probably be different. Like my, my point of view would, would definitely be different. I've lived in different areas and I know that things are different based on like the location that you're at sometimes but even then it's like you still encounter you still encounter you know you always will encounter like <sighs> nonsense but it can vary you know based upon where you're at and where i'm presently at this country ass town it's the worst it's always been like this and i have hated this area ever since I we moved here like ever since I was like you know teenage like preteen is when we moved here and I have hated it ever since and I've tried to get away and this time I feel like I will not get away from this place permanently until 
everybody is moved. Not just myself, but my mom and my sister. They have to, they, we all have to get the hell out of this area. Like, seriously. And, you know, I'm gonna keep fighting until I can. But in the meantime, I guess I just have to be strong enough to handle this kind of stupidness. So... I hope you guys are having a wonderful day and I'm sorry about this video I really I wanted it to be more fun and lighthearted you know I feel like there's been so much so much tense type of content lately that I've posted and I want to get back to a more lighthearted vibe you know but I mean it's difficult when you have stuff like that happening it's like damn you know I'm doing my best but Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. And I love you. And, you know, don't forget to subscribe. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye.